Alright, let's have a read through this one. Lev is going to put new skirting boards in his bedroom. The room has a rectangular floor. Lev wants to put skirting boards across along each wall. He does not need skirting boards where the door is. Lev buys six skirting boards. Each skirting board is two meters long. Lev can cut and join pieces of skirting board. Does Lev have enough skirting boards for his bedroom? Show a check of your answer. Well, what we need to do for this one is we need to first of all find out how much skirting board he needs to go around the whole room, not including the door. Then we need to find out how much skirting board he's got, if he has six skirting boards that are this long each, uh, and then find out whether he's got more skirting boards than he needs, or whether he needs more than he's got. So if we want to know uh, how much skirting board he needs, we need to add up uh, this length up here, this length up here, this one, this one, and then this one across here, but this one's missing. However, if this is 3.35 up here, then at the bottom it's got to be 3.35 meters as well. Okay, so we can just add all those up uh, to find out how much he needs. So uh, we'll do this one across the side, 4.1 meters plus along the top is 3.35. A little bit above the door is 0 0.8, and a bit below the door is 2.3, and across the bottom was another 3.35. Okay, copy that to my working out box. That tells me that he's going to need 13.9 meters of skirting board. Uh, now let's work out what he's actually got, so I'll clear that. He's got six skirting boards, each of them is 2.4 meters long, so he's got six lots of 2.4 meters, and he's got 14.4 meters. I'm just going to go back into my working out. I'm going to just put a meters here and a meters here. Uh, does he have enough skirting boards for his bedroom? Well, this is how much he needs. This is how much he has. So yes, yes, he does have enough. Second part to this question is to show a check of your answer. Now, to make it clear that you're showing a check, I think it's always good to to write it down just so that it's completely obvious that you're you're, you're now doing a check. Uh, and I'm going to pick something that I've done in here, and I'm going to in this case I'm going to do a reverse calculation, I'm going to do something backwards to show that my cal that, that each part of my calculation was correct. So I'm going to pick this one here because it's, to be honest, because it's the most straightforward. If I, if I try to do this one, I've got to put lots of things in my calculator and I could get something wrong. I'm going to choose this one because it's a bit more straightforward. I'm going to start with my answer, which is 14.4. And now instead of doing a times, I'm going to do a divide. Now, whichever one I choose to divide by out of 2.4 and 6, whichever one I divide by, my answer should be the other one. So if I divide by 6, it should be 2.4, and if I divide by 2.4, it should be 6, if that calculation was correct. Now it is 6, so I know that my calculation must have been correct. I've noticed this has gone into the wrong place, and I like to set out everything nicely, so I'm just going to delete that, move my cursor down here, and copy it again. There we go. Okay, so I've shown that he needs this much and he's got this much, so yes, he does have enough skirting board. And I've checked my answer by taking something I did earlier and doing it backwards. So I've got three marks for the first part and an extra mark for the check.